Right friends, welcome back to capsule number 2. This is on a nuclear triad. India entered into the club of select countries having three types of capabilities for delivering the nuclear weapons and India is probably the fourth country as per the available news reports. The first one is United States of America, Russia, subsequently China and now India is the fourth country to develop this nuclear triad and here before going into the details what is meant by nuclear triad recently INS Arihant was inducted into service and this INS Arihant is indigenously made nuclear submarine and pressed into service in the month of August and this INS Arihant was developed indigenously and this project was almost three decade old and with the commissioning of INS Arihant, this is a submarine and with the commissioning of this, India entered into select group of countries known as nuclear triad. With the commissioning of INS Arihant, India entered into select group of countries and the countries having these three types of capabilities are classified under a nuclear triad. And you may ask what is meant by nuclear triad. Nuclear triad basically means delivering nuclear weapons from land, from air and from sea through submarines. And I will explain one by one. First one is on the land or you can say delivering the nuclear weapons from land. And here we have capability up to Agni 5 series here Agni 1, Agni 2 or medium range ballistic missiles and you may ask what is meant by ballistic missile there is a difference between ballistic missile and cruise missile ballistic missile means it is powered initially subsequently it falls because of gravity it is not powered always initially it is powered Subsequently, it will fall because of gravity. It will take the path because of gravity. It is powered only initially. But cruise missile is different. Cruise missile is a totally guided missile. Its path is guided. So, this is the difference between ballistic missile and cruise missile. And Agni class of missiles are ballistic missiles. And Agni 1 and 2 is known as medium range ballistic missiles this agni 1 2 the range i have given here agni 1 and 2 are classified as medium range ballistic missiles and agni 3 and 4 are intermediate range ballistic missiles and before that short range ballistic missiles are there they are prithvi class of ballistic missiles and agni class starts from medium range medium range agni 1 2 then intermediate range Agni 3-4, then intercontinental ballistic missiles, they are Agni 5. So, intercontinental ballistic missiles, India developed the capability. So, India can deliver nuclear weapons operating from land, that is the first strike capability. Then second strike capability is, India can deliver nuclear weapons from air. And all of you are familiar with the Mirage 2000 as well as the Sukhoi 30 MKI. Mirage 2000, they were built by Dassault Aviation of France. And please don't forget, we are talking about the Rafale fighter jets in recent times. Rafale fighter jets are manufactured by Dassault Aviation. And the same firm manufactured Mirage 2000. And if you look at the Sukhoi 30 MKI, these are the fighter planes manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited with the technical collaboration from Russia. So, if someone talks about Mirage 2000, they belongs to France. Sukhoi 30 manufactured by HCIL with the technical collaboration from Russia. And these type of planes have got capability to deliver nuclear weapons. And Sukhoi 30 MKI is heavy all-weather long-range fighter Tyler made for Indian specifications and this Mirage 2000 or Sukhoi 30 MKI 
can deliver nuclear weapons and this is the capability from air so agni series is a capability from land this mirage as well as sukhoi these have got the capability for delivering nuclear weapons from air and you may ask the third capability third capability is through submarines for that purpose this ins arihant was indigenously made and pressed into service in august and ins arihant is also known as ssbn this is a ship submersible ballistic nuclear that means ballistic missiles can be fired from this nuclear submarine and it is capable of firing k15 ballistic missiles k15 means kalam 15 kalam 15 ballistic missiles have got a range up to 750 kilometers and kalam 4 missiles have got a range up to 3500 kilometers and this ins arihant will be accompanied by ins chakra ins chakra was a leased submarine from russia and this will assist ins arihant and ins arihant has got the capability for this ballistic missiles for firing ballistic missiles so with the induction of ins arihant india has got the capability of striking all three ways from land from air from sea this is all about a nuclear triad and in a nutshell i have given here please go through it nuclear triad means delivery of nuclear weapons in three different ways that is uh, delivery of a strategic nuclear arsenal in three ways that is uh, by strategic bombers from air intercontinental ballistic missiles from land and uh, submarine launched ballistic missiles basically the purpose is to reduce uh, significantly the possibility of destroying all of a country's nuclear forces if an enemy attacks so basically our policy is no first use policy we will not use nuclear weapons first but if some enemy attacks us our total nuclear capability should not be destroyed at once so we should have the capacity of second strike capability that means it is developing the capability as part of a credible minimum deterrence doctrine as i have already told you nuclear triad is presently available with usa russia and china and probably india is the fourth country to develop nuclear triad here completion of nuclear triad is critical for a country like india and our policy is no first use policy and the basic problem is if someone attacks us our nuclear capacity should not be destroyed at once we should have alternate mechanism so we should have second strike capability and this nuclear submarine is capable of staying under water for months together without being detected and most important it gives an edge for india over our nuclear neighbor quite a time and often we are hearing news about our neighboring country and we are very clear about our policy no first use policy but we are not sure about our neighboring country so under these circumstances having the second strike capability is most important and growing presence of nuclear submarines by china in indian ocean region has become a major source of concern for india over the last couple of years and this strategic project was developed under advanced technology vessel project and second nuclear submarine ins arithaman is also slated for delivery by 2018 and this ins arihant along with ins chakra leased from russia will take care of the needs of second strike capability of india and the project took 3 decades but it is a big achievement for indian defense right friends with this let us conclude nuclear triad most important achievement for india 
and with this let us conclude the second capsule please do join for third and fourth capsules we are deliberating wudan uday desh ka am nagrik and at the same time debit card breach in fourth capsule have a nice day thank you